No. I love. Is this on? I love Hack to Jack. I love Hack to Jack. Because it's helped me play better. It helps me play better. Feel better. Does this camera make my calves look bigger? Meet some great people. Meet some great people. This is fun. This is fun. Now this, this right here, this is fun. This is Hack to Jack. Is Hack to Jack. Hack to Jack. This is Hack to Jack. All right, welcome back. If you've been following along on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, you've seen the contestants have turned up the fun dial a couple of notches. And now, just halfway through the program, they're seeing some amazing results in their games, health, and overall enjoyment of the game. In this episode, we're gonna check in with the contestants, see how things are going, and show you who came out on top in our first team competitions. You know, I've improved in a lot of areas. One, my back doesn't hurt anymore. Uh, I feel a little quicker. Jumping higher, and stronger, it's all good. Right now my strength would be my iron play. Uh, the lessons we've been doing have been uh, paying off big time. So I'd say the flexibility and then just coming down a little bit in size has allowed me to make a bigger turn, hitting the ball farther and, and uh, get some more fun at speed. He does the cooking so he's watching what we're putting in our food and everything so that's been great that he's been doing it with me. This is Team Wilson trying to figure out coordination with hats. Right. Uh, I mean, we have to match our outfits. Yeah. It's important. It's yeah. very important to look good. You know, I always say if you can't <laughs> play the part, you might as well look the part. I mean, I came into this not having worked out in a while, not ever playing golf, just hitting the ball a few times. And I think that it's the whole program as a whole has really made a difference. So we've traveled all across the U.S. looking for products that we think will really help improve our contestants' games. Let's hear about what they're saying about some of these gems that are helping to lower scores and raise some thoughts. What is that deal? Can you show me? It's it? a PSP practice swing. Sweet. It's great for practice. And it's little. Yeah, very little. So you got a sweet spot every time. So it teaches how to swing into a good golf shot. Hit a few balls with this and go back to your regular club and it looks massive. So you got the confidence going back at it and uh, it's just a great, great overall club. Got my, uh, I got my Rucket Sports Net set up in the backyard all the time and I uh, hit probably about 100 balls a day. We got a mat and we got a net at home, so that's been helping out a lot too. I've been using the converter hole uh, probably almost every morning. We at least need to get 30 minutes of uh, golf practice in a day, so I always use about 15 to 20 of that is my putting. Play with a fling stick. I actually played behind the schoolyard with, with my boys and they love it. I mean, you've used it here. Have you used it anywhere else? Have you no, first Never. timers here. Yeah. Fling stick virgins, if yeah. you will. Not anymore. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> I've used it a couple of times. It's uh, it's really nice. It is incredibly accurate. So this will measure, right. hey, you open your face the same amount every stroke. And if you can do that, um, you can play the game. Our first team competition took place at Stillwater Oaks Golf Course on a beautiful night and began on the putting green, but then finished with a dramatic come from behind victory. Let's see how it played out. All right, welcome, we're out on the course. Tonight, it's all about the points. We've got teams starting out on the putting green here. Behind me, you see they get five different putts from different lengths, three feet, six feet, nine feet, 12, and the bonus three point shot from 15 feet at the markers. Let's see how the teams stack up after we get off the green. Uh, it's pretty tight right now. I don't know, there's, there's, there's one team leading, but there's three of us right close behind, only a few behind, so it's anybody's game. We're getting some on-course play now. The, point, the points challenge. Team Scott Golf is going to go out tonight, and we're going to take this whole thing. Oh, uh, we're about to just lay the smack down here. Yeah. Team TaylorMade. Stillwater Oaks. We're on the first hole here. They're going to play it as a two-person scramble. If they get an eagle, they get 15 points. A birdie, 10 points. A par, 5. I think Mike is going to drive the green and then five putt. I'm going to birdie. My partner and I are ready. Kill it. Yeah. All right, so we're on the first green. Three teams are in with birdie. We have one chance at eagle from Team Callaway. Let's see how Alex and Tyler do. Gave him a read. Alright, after three competitions, we have Team Callaway still in the lead with 40 points, followed closely by Bryn and Stephanie with Team Wilson at 32, and then we have Team Scott Golf, Scott and Todd with 30, as well as Team TaylorMade. 
and then followed next by Ricky and Carlos, Team Rocket, that just made a big putt to score 15 points on that last one. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're on the fifth hole. Team Callaway, Tyler and Alex are holding on to a slim five point lead over Scott and Todd with Team Scott Golf. So we're here on the par three. This, they get a point if they hit it on the green. If they get closest to, they get five. An eagle, hole in one, scores 20. A birdie, 15. A par, a measly five. Let's see how they do. Get there, get there, boom, yeah, yes, woo! All right, we just finished our sixth contest. We had Team Wilson knocking it closest to the pin to end, and sinking the putt to score 15 points. That brings them to 47 points, just eight behind Team Callaway, who's in the lead with 55. Close behind, Britt and Stephanie, Team Wilson, 42, and Scott and Todd, Team Scott Golf at 50. Let's see how they do with the flop shot. Now here, if they hit it on the green, they get five points. If they hit it closest to, they get five points. If they miss the green, goose egg. All right, we're down to our last hole. Team Callaway, Alex and Tyler have a narrow lead with 60 points, followed closely by Team Scott Goff with Scott and Todd at 55. But they could be caught by Wilson, team number two, Josh and Barba with 52 points. All right, we're here on the last hole. As you can see, the sun is going down. It's down to one putt. Team Nike needs to make this in order to have a chance to win. If Team Nike makes and Team Scott Goff misses, Team Nike wins. But if Team Nike misses this putt, it's all over, and Team Scott Goff takes home the prize. Well, there you have it. Team Scott Goff edged out Team Callaway with some clutch shots down the stretch by Todd and Scott to take the first team victory. Behind the scenes, though, some early rivalries are forming as skills and competitive fire are heating up. Tune in next time for more big prizes and a couple of unexpected twists. Oh, and be sure to stick around after the credits for a special announcement. I am. I am. I am. I am. Hack the Jack. I am. I am. Hack the Jack. 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 Hack the Jack. I am. Hack the Jack. I am. Hack the Jack. I am a hack to Jack. Boom. Oh, hi. Hope you're enjoying following the show as much as we are making it. If what we're doing looks like fun, we invite you to join us during the final event on Saturday, June 26, at Deer Run Golf Club in Victoria. That's right, you can meet the contestants, try some of our fun skills challenges, play alongside our Season 2 contestants for a shot at some great prizes. Now, only a limited number of spots are available, though, so head over to hacktojack.com to sign up and experience what it's like to improve your game and claim your fame.